What's up, everybody? I'm Nelson Cheney. You're watching Craving Capsaicin. Um, I'm super stoked about this pepper. It's not a super hot, but uh, I've never had one of these. Ahi lemon or ahi limon, you can say it either way. I've seen people saying it. Now, um, this pod, I, I grew this, and uh, I'm really excited because, uh, like I said, I've never had one, and the first one I'm going to try is going to be out of my garden so yeah if this thing's moldy inside I'm probably still gonna eat it <laughs> but uh hopefully not so this is a pretty cool pepper um from what I've read these only reach like 15,000 to 30,000 Scoville units It looks, I mean, it just, it looks like it's going to be fruity. I hope it is because I've seen so many people eat this and I, so many people love this pepper that, uh, I mean, I guess we're going to find out, so. And it's perfect inside. Looks pretty juicy. It smells really, that oil on the blade smells awesome. Wow. Uh, I've, I've never smelled to pepper like that. Oops. Make sure, I, well, I'm glad it's not a super hot because I just touched the whole inside of it. I took like four or five seeds just in case my other ones don't ripen in time. I'm in Michigan, so. It smells super fruity. Um, it almost reminds me of the smell of a Sugar Rush Red a little bit, which is kind of cool. Because those are amazing peppers. To me, they taste like apples. I know that's a little weird, but here it goes, guys. I'm going to eat this one in two bites because I want to enjoy the flavor and not just cram it all in there. That's amazing. Wow, so fruity. Um, definitely a super citrusy pod, um, really juicy. The heat is very faint, um, 15,000 to 30,000 Scoville units is not very much um, to me. Normal person would probably think it's a hot pepper. It's got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of burn to it. It's not bad, it's about the same heat as a little red chili to me, in my opinion, like a regular red chili. It's got a little bit of burn um, that slowly built, but... I'm not going to register that on a heat scale for me. Like I said, the normal person would um, probably think it's hot, but that that has got to be one of the best tasting pods I've ever ate, um, flavor-wise. That is something I'll probably grow for the rest of my life, <laughs> to be honest. Um I'll probably try to overwinter one of those. I got some seeds from a friend. This one actually was not from them, but uh, I'll definitely eat that one too. I'm, I'm going to probably try to save seeds from the one she gave me because uh, it's been a plant that she has had for like over three years or something. So it will be cool. But um, that, I'm not going to stick on here too long because it it's not a hot pepper. I just want to tell you guys... Uh, how it tastes and uh, I was just super excited I had to share it with everybody super delicious right off the bat 
I mean, as soon as you bite into it, it's just, it's really crisp. Uh, I just picked it like a couple minutes ago, but it was so crisp and so juicy. And man, it was just packed full of like a, almost a lemony citrusy flavor. So definitely followed up with a name. Uh, that's, that's up there with uh, one of my favorite pods so far that I've ate. Um, I guess not all things have to be hot to be good. So cool. Really awesome. Uh, thanks for hanging out, guys, and until next time, peace.